I've been studying suicide prevention for 10 years now. I tell Rajiv all the time, I'm like, everything you're doing is so important. His research is invaluable. We've learned a tremendous amount about suicide that we didn't know. In many cases, even though there are published warning signs out there, they weren't exhibited in the days before the person died. Symptoms and signals that we've all learned growing up, I never saw anything. We worked with the coroner's office and they would tell us and alert us when there was a suicide death. And a year later, we would reach out to the next of kin and we would invite them to be part of our study. They really wanted to tell their stories and the stories about the person that they lost to suicide. He had friends everywhere. My goodness, he had 5,000 people at his funeral. They asked for advice and they asked for suggestions. What have you learned in your research, Rajiv, that we could build on? What in the world happened? What did we miss? What could we have done? I become more and more passionate about this work the more I do it. And a lot of it has to do with talking to family members. The bottom line is we can't get Wilkins back, but what we can do is we can help others. Families are really inspired to know that, that we're working as hard as we can to make sure that other families don't have to go through such a profound and tragic loss.